All right, YouTube, it is October 23rd, 2020. It's been two weeks since my last video. Uh, went to Denver to visit my grandkids, my son and his family out there. And um, just been busy, uh, still selling on eBay. Um, look at my sold items, you can see what's been sold. In fact, I got a couple things that I'm gonna pack up today. Um, not gonna show on video. Uh, packed some stuff up this morning. If you're new to the channel, I buy and sell on eBay, offer up, stuff like that. I like to show what I pick up at garage sales, estate sales, flea markets, stuff like that, and show what it is and what I think it's worth. So you can kind of see, I kind of like the unusual stuff. There's a fly flying around me that's bugging me, but um, we're gonna get through this video. So like I said, it's been two weeks, still stuck at uh, I think 85 subscribers. So if you like this content, uh, go ahead and click subscribe, like, uh, keep me motivated to keep going, leave a comment it's been almost a year that I've been doing this on video on YouTube I've been selling for probably a good what uh, six to eight years but um, as far as videos it's coming up on a year if it's not a year already and um, I just want to stay motivated to keep doing it uh, for you guys for me I like to document what I buy and sell or more of what I buy because I usually show what I buy so went to an estate sale today and then hit up a garage sale. Spent $150 on everything and I'll show you what I got. So stand by. <music> Uh, didn't buy a whole lot. I spent a hundred dollars on what you see here, and then I spent another fifty dollars of What's over there? So 150 total so the estate sale. Let me go through first hundred bucks This is a They call it a stereo Opticon and uh, This is made by Sun sculpture and what it is I believe is you put these photo cards in there and I have a stack of photo cards let me see if I can get them to come out and show you put these photo cards and uh, you take a look at them on these this contraption here look this up this is probably a about with the photo cards and everything I can maybe get 60 bucks for everything um, depending on what the photo cards are sometimes there could be some unique ones you never know I'll have to go through them and see what they are there's an old Easter card so we'll see perfume I always pick up perfume Especially if it's unique. This is kind of unique to me. You never heard of this one. Uh, let's see. Vivant. Poem. I don't know. So we'll see if that's valuable or has any value to it. This I picked up. It's a Fire 7 for Alexa. It is brand new. Never opened. Uh, 16 gigabytes. Did a quick scan and this goes for about 50 bucks 40 50 bucks something like that I don't usually pick up Polaroids anymore but this was in the box and it almost looks new I'll have to do a little bit more research on it but uh, it looks very clean and uh, so we'll have to go through it and see if it's any value there. I probably should have scanned it, but I didn't. Uh, anyways, this could be worth anywhere from 20 to 
$40 maybe. Uh, picked up these figures here. They're all kind of a green tint figure. And if you look this up, Celadon, uh, this is the Celadon Rabbit. And these are all Japanese figures. They're kind of like ceramic figures. So this is the rabbit. And so I assume that these two are also Celadon that didn't have the box. This one is a sheet. It's kind of interesting here. Let's see. Let's see what I have going here. Yeah. Big horn sheet. Um, and then this one's a snake. And this one is a monkey. So there's four of them. I was looking these up. Um, they can go anywhere from 20 to $100 each. I guess it depends on the figure and all that. But yeah, look up Celadon Rabbits. I didn't know anything about them until I looked them up there. And I decided to get the four of them. Picked up this Sony Cybershot. Don't know if this has any value at all. I uh, just know Sony is good to pick up. It might be a $10, $15 camera. This is what I thought was interesting. This is a vanity mirror. It's got this porcelain tile here. And I'm thinking this is a jade handle. But I'm not 100% certain. Hey, there I am. So I thought it was kind of interesting. It's got some ornate metal work there. Picked up some glasses. Um, this is B C B Maxeria. I don't know. And then this one I thought was Burberry, but it actually says Blackberry there. So I don't know if there's any value. These don't even have the lenses. It's just a frame. But we'll look them up, see if they have any value. This, it was interesting to me. It's, you know, here's the top to it. It's Jack in a Box, a little clown. He looks very old. And it's by Spear Product. Um, so I'll have to look that up. And then this little plush monkey with a rubber face and ears. Didn't find any markings on him but he just looks old thought he was cool and last couple things here from this estate sale is a north face jacket apex jacket large and then this thing here is pretty cool it's some kind of a japanese kimono but it's 100 percent wool and then they had this stuff attached to it. This little ninja guy here. And it says, a group preserving traditional firefighting skills does acrobats on bamboo letters at the annual New York New Year's drill in Tokyo Thursday. So I don't know if this is something they wore or what, but uh, it is pretty cool. It is marked... 100% cotton, uh, Ichiban, made in Japan. So, I don't know. We'll put a, we'll have to look something up on that and see if it's worth anything. I'm sure it is. Then went to a garage sale. Um, this is all boxing, MMA stuff. They originally wanted 80 for everything. I told them I'd offer them 50 and they took it. And so we have these undisputed training gloves. There's actually some other stuff in here. I I want to say these are glove wraps, but I'm not 100% certain. There's quite a few of them in there. I'm almost sure they're glove wraps. 
So there's one pair of gloves, uh, another Rev Gear boxing 14 ounce gloves, and then uh, this shin guards for kickboxing. And the reason I picked it up were these Fairtex, they're kicking pads, a pair of them. I looked these up first. And these were going for at least $80 to $100 for the pair. So when they told me $80 for everything, I counted with $50 and I thought that I'd make money on this. I didn't look up any of the other stuff, so we'll see. So yeah, $150. Bucks. Some cool items, unique stuff. This little guy. Um, like subscribe let me know what you think stuff seller up have a great day